This is Jonathan Simpson with Warcraft Science on how to use Curse Client. World of Warcraft is one of the most customizable, massively multiplayer games on the market today. A large part of that is the ability for anyone who is interested to write an add-on that will modify the game interface. Add-ons can be extremely useful, however finding them, and even more so keeping them up to date can be a real chore. As a result, several third-party programs have been developed to assist players with this process. To download Curse Client, go to www.curse.com and click Client at the top of the page. Then click the download button for your operating system, which for most people will be the link on the left hand side for Windows users. Once clicked, you should get a request to open or save the download. Click save and make sure to place it somewhere that will be easy to find and run once the download is complete. Run the Curse Client installer that you downloaded and click the accept button on the bottom left of the .NET framework EULA. You may get a Windows error message that the install did not finish correctly. Close the error and don't let it concern you as it's just Windows trying to let you know that .NET was not installed because you already had it. When you receive a security pop-up for Curse Client, click Install. The program will automatically launch and request your login information. If you do not have a Curse Client login yet, click the Sign Up link and follow the steps on their page. It is a similar process to signing up for an email address and only takes a moment. Once you log in for the first time, Curse Client will ask you if you want a tour. Because we are going over the basic setup in this tutorial, you can click Skip Tour. You can open the settings for Curse Client by clicking the Tools drop-down link at the top left, and then clicking Options. Under the main tab, you can select if you want Curse Client to stay running when you X out of it, if you want it to automatically start with Windows, and if you want it to automatically log in for you when you launch the program. Games and Add-ons tab will let you select what programs it should be downloading add-ons for, and what release version of the add-ons you wish to search for. This option is one of the things that makes Curse Client so useful. Most of the time I found beta to be the least trouble, because the majority of the glitches have already been removed from any add-on that you will download, and it probably won't be put into the release category for several more months. For a few weeks after a Warcraft patch, I nearly always set this option to alpha, because the very newest release of add-ons are the only versions that work properly at those times. Remember to click the Reset All button after changing the release version, and confirm when it asks. The Appearance tab lets you adjust cosmetics, Advance is only available if you have a premium account, and plugins exist if your guild synchronizes its add-ons and raid attendance with a central database, which almost none do. Click Done to apply any changes you have made, and click the Refresh button at the top left of the client window. It will scan your add-ons and inform you if you need any updates. Click the Update button next to any add-ons that need it. Be aware that you can only be updating two add-ons at the same time. If you click a third when two are already downloading, it will ask you to buy a premium membership, which you can decline. This minor annoyance is something that you get used to dealing with after a few uses. You can remove an add-on by right-clicking on its name and clicking Uninstall. Curse Client can also help you find new add-ons. Click the Get More Add-ons link on the far left-hand side and it will take you to a new window. Type keywords for the add-on you want in the top right and it will filter all the possible add-ons by what you've selected. If you find an add-on you wish to try, click Install. The Curse website undergoes maintenance quite often and can be down for long periods of time, sometimes even days. If you try the client during one of these times, it will give you an error about not being able to connect to the site. If you wait and try again later, their site always comes back up eventually. Once you have more than two or three add-ons, it becomes much easier to use one of these update programs than manually maintaining them yourself. I hope Curse Client will make your WoW experience more enjoyable, as it did for me. Notice the links in the description below as they are related to the video you just watched. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe, click like, and favorite this video as we depend upon your support.